Right, so we're going to look at how to embed video into your page and there is three ways, make that two ways to do that, but there is three, two ways to do one of those different ways. It'll all make sense when I explain it to you. First of all, we're going to go to our Birdie Oz Embedder and have a look at the fast way to do it without having to play too much with code. So let's go to our YouTube Embedder. Now, the very first thing we have to do is follow the instructions. Click here for set up instructions if you haven't done this before. To show our bookmark bar and follow the instructions which says drag this YouTube Embedder up to here. So I have it in our bookmarks bar, in our toolbar. So, so that bit's done. The next part is to go to YouTube and find a video. And we have a stack of great videos here. So let's choose upload videos or embed your videos in Moodle. Good question. And that's an interesting spot to pause it. Right, we have our video in YouTube. We're ready to watch it, but we're not going to watch it. We're just going to click on YouTube and better. And this runs off to Birdie Oz. Thank you again, Greg Bird. We can leave the description in there or we can take it out. We'll take it out. We're going to copy the embed code from there for this video using our quick embedder. We're going to go back to our page, click on settings, scroll down, go into our code and paste it in. And we're going to choose save and display. And there you go. We have our YouTube video already embedded nicely and looking pretty damn good. So that's one way. Let's try another way of doing it. If we go to our YouTube video, we can choose share, choose embed, and then we don't have to do a start at. We can just select copy and it will copy the embed code. Jump back to our page, we're going to go to settings. From settings, we go to our code. We go down and paste that in. And if we save and display, we now have a Birdie Oz embed. We also have a normal YouTube embed. Notice the difference. This one uses Bootstrap to resize it and puts the title and heading in for us and puts the time in, which is a nice bonus and a little icon. Whereas this one just embeds the video as it is. If you wanted the video embedded as it is without all the other extra bits and pieces up here, there's another way to do it. And that is to go back to the code that I've given you in your course. Let's jump back to it. And you'll see down here we have our YouTube embed code which is this bit here. All we need is the YouTube ID. So let's grab this code, so copy, back to our course. Let's go to settings, into our code, scroll right down the bottom. We're gonna paste this one in as well. Before we go any further though, notice it's got YouTube ID in capitals. We need to go back to our actual video and grab the YouTube ID, which is uh, to share and grab the end of that. So that's the bit we want. We need to copy that, go back to our page and put that in where it says YouTube ID. Press save and display. And now we have our Birdie Oz embed. We have our normal YouTube embed from YouTube. And then we have our own embed that doesn't have all the extra things wrapped around it. So like I said, there are two different ways of adding it. One is using code, one is using the quick embedder from Birdie Oz. Either one will work and do the job, but if you do add the code, there is two ways of adding the code as well. You can do it from the YouTube code embed, or you can do it from that extra code that I just gave you. That is incredibly useful. So there's three different ways of adding a YouTube video into your content.